So my name is Lisa Oakley, I am Programme Subject Leader for Abuse Studies uh, at MMU Cheshire and in the Department of Interdisciplinary Studies. The Assignment in a Nutshell podcast came about because of trying to find ways just to support students in preparing for assignments just a little bit more. So we've always had assignment briefs, we've always had verbal briefing, written briefing, but this was about something that is relatively short, so no more than five minutes. Um, that students can access anytime, anywhere, just to remind them about what the assignment's about, what we're looking for, and what they will be marked on when they actually give it in. So when we started off, it literally was an audio file that students listened to. This year, we've done more of kind of voiceovers of PowerPoints. Sometimes we've actually used videos. It's, it's changed as we've gone along, really. Um, part of that is because sometimes it helps students to have something visual with an audio uh, over the top to actually remind them of the things that we talked about. Um, and, some, and that seems to be much more positively received. I mean, the whole thing has been extremely positively received. So we started off just in one unit on one assignment, and that was because students seemed to have some concerns around that assignment. And then the feedback was so positive, saying we'd like this across the unit. So that's kind of what we've been doing this year, is moving it across the units. I think for students, there's a number of benefits. One particularly has been students with PLPs, saying that having a briefing in an alternative format that's not just written is really, really useful. Students have also commented that, that it's an anytime, anywhere, so um, they can log on at any point and listen to it again. I think it's a bit more personal as well because you're actually hearing your tutor's voice as opposed to just a written document. Um, I think it helps them because it summarises. Here's the marking criteria. This is what the assignment's about. I also have put in this year top tips and also common mistakes. So, you know, don't do this, but do do this. And I think students, have, uh, for those reasons, it's been quite advantageous for students. And uh, also for confidence, lots of the students have said that they, they listen to the podcast and it makes them feel more confident in being able to say, yes, I've done this, this, this and this, rather than coming for a tutorial, which they may not feel that they want to do just to check they're on the right lines. I think that um, we should be not afraid to use e-technology. I think it helps us, I think it helps the students. When we did the evaluation of the students were very clear that they didn't want in-class briefings or written briefings to go, that this was another layer of help and support rather than a replacement for it. I think that's quite important. I think it's really easy to do, and I think that's the other thing that we can be a bit scared, but actually it is incredibly easy to do. And for tutors, I think it pays dividends because I'm finding now that I'm able to say to students, have you listened to the podcast? and actually that stops you repeating information that you've already give, given. So I think it has a whole range of purposes and we're certainly rolling podcasts out in different ways across, so not just assignment in a nutshell, but how do you write a method section for a dissertation? How do you write a proposal? And those are things that we've started to use this year and again have been really useful for students and for staff as well.